Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Debbie with the Question Queens. Hi. That's your southern word of the day. It's seven syllables. But you can make it two. And some people, you know, they make it one. Do they just say hi? Well, I say hi. <laughs> you have to kind of sing it. Anyway, um, I would like to give you all some updates and some thoughts. Um, if you have not been watching some of my videos and you've just now joined me, I have a heart condition that some of this music makes my heart just kind of go nuts. Um, so if you see me trying to catch my breath and breathe a little bit and say I have my pen, my pen is to remind me to breathe. So um, just filling in on that. For the I'm 52 years old and my music um, knowledge could fill maybe a half a thimble. I've just now started, I, I honestly, I stumbled over a song by Tom McDonald, and I just started my channel, so I'm like, well, I'll just listen to it and react to it. And that's kind of what got me started on doing reaction videos. I, I, it wasn't actually a plan to do that. <laughs> but... You all seem to love them so much, and I'm really glad, which makes me love them. Um, but I've really dabbled into some music that I would never have dreamt that I would have liked, that I would have ever listened to. I can definitely almost, almost call myself like a metalhead. Um, but the symphonic metal... I've listened to acapella groups, pentatonics, um, home free. I almost called them home fries. <laughs> okay, they're not home fries. They're home free. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alrighty then. Well, uh, home free. I'm forever now going to think of home fries every time I say it. And if y'all are not from the South, home fries are like those big, thick cut fries, and they just call them home fries. I don't know why they call them that. I don't know why. Okay, there's your second southern phrase of the day. I don't know why. It's all one word. Um, but anyway, so I've pretty much lived under a non-musical rock all my life, so things that you've probably heard of that everybody, and you know, normal people have heard of, I haven't heard of it, and it's all new to me. Um, Sometimes I'm not going to like it. Sometimes I'm going to absolutely flip out and love it. Sometimes I'm going to pause it too much. And, you know, I'm just doing me. And I do, honestly, I don't know what I do until after I've done the video. That's how um, just kind of locked in I get with the music. I don't know what I've said. I can't really remember. It, it's just, I get kind of sucked in and... When I'm editing the video and making the thumbnail, then I, I see what I've said. Sometimes I wish I would have said something different, but it's real. It's honest. It's unfiltered, and there you go. Um, Poppy, which is my partner in crime here, uh, she is the other question queen. We are live every Tuesday, and that's from 4 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time until like 6 Sometimes we're late coming on because of technical difficulties because I am not that great at it, and she's even worse than I am. But we are constantly figuring out new things. But anyway, every Tuesday from like 4-ish to 5.30-ish, we just come online and we usually have things, topics of discussion to talk about and to chat. You are more than welcome to come in the chat. Uh, say your comments. We always include you all. We love that, that we get people in there. So you're you're invited officially. Um, Patreon. Um, I'm not a big money person. Um, I have some dreams and goals set because I am doing this. Um, most of the things that I do, like I'm talking 90% of what I do, they're not monetized. Um, if you all see the commercials, then the any kind of monetization gets paid to the copyright owner. So I do have Patreon. 
I only set up, I think it's $5 a month. If you want to support me and Poppy, go right ahead. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, there will be some videos I'm going to put on Patreon because I get so freaking frustrated with YouTube about blocking things or I have to pretty much freaking cover up the whole entire video. Um, I've done some where I didn't do the video. I just did the song. Mostly that was just because I don't want to get distracted. I get so, I'm a visual, so I get so distracted by the emotions, the empathy that I feel for the singer and what they're feeling while they're singing it. And that's not a bad thing. It's just, I want to get immersed in the music and half time I can't even understand the lyrics. I'm just so lost in the music. So I probably need to do each song four times, focusing on the visual, the, the lyrics, the the people themselves, and then the combination of all of it. But probably not going to do that. Um, oh, I made the Holy Mother of Goat's Milk shirt. So if you've not heard me, <laughs> I am from the South. Um, one of my things I say is Holy Mother of Goat's Milk. Like, it, that's just, I don't know, I've just said it forever. I don't even think other people say that. I just say it. I'm like, holy mother of goat's milk. Well, anyway, I made a shirt because somebody said, you really need to make shirts that say that. So I did. And for the I on the milk, there's your next southern word, I. Um, the I on the milk is a goat, and he's got an electric guitar. Oh, my gosh, if you haven't seen it, it's freaking cute. Anyway, um, the link of it is in the description, but I just wanted to let you know, like, I can set the prices for the t-shirts. Um, I guess a lot of people make a ton of money off shirts because anytime you want to buy a shirt, they're usually like 40 bucks. Well, I'm making $2. I figured that was fair. So a regular shirt is like 20 bucks. And I checked out the shipping and the shipping's going to be about $5. So it's not too bad. I wish it was cheaper. But I thought I would let you all know so you can get your Holy Mother of Goat's Milk shirt. Oh, my gosh. That's so funny. It's so funny. Um, I did want to let you all know I'm going to be doing more Nightwish, more Dimash, more Tom McDonald, more Pentatonix. Uh, Home Free is on the schedule. I have Ginger back in Oh, no. I don't know if I'm ready to do it yet. I think I am. I, the growling part, now that I've been a little bit more immersed in it, which was really crazy because the other Nightwish song, um, what was the song? I can't even think of the name of it. Ghost River. Okay. I thought that that was Marco's voice, the low growling one. It wasn't. It was Floor's. And I'm floored. Yeah. Did not know that. Um, I didn't know it until I read the comments, and I'm just shocked. I'm absolutely stunned. I had no idea. That's why I need four listens to each song. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know if I am going to put her in rotation yet. She's I still have it there because I really feel the last thing I want to do, even if I don't like the music, is disrespect the artist's in the band and I felt like I did I mean it's okay not to like something I'm okay with it um but I don't want to dis I don't want to be disrespectful and cutting the song right in the middle of it even though I was traumatized I couldn't do it I think I'm our, I'm much better now after hearing a little bit more of the growling a little bit more of the dark stuff um plus maybe not doing it at night time when I'm about to go to bed is not the best time to do that just a thought. Well, anyway, um, so I do have that on my mind. I am going to still try that out and give it another shot. Um, and I still might not like it. And if I don't, that's cool. I'm not going to do that other song. I'm going to do a different one. I've had a um, couple people give me different suggestions, so I'm going to try those. Uh, anyway, and I also have a band called Love Bites. I don't know them either. Um I don't know anything about them. But anyway, so that's what I have. That's what's coming up. And I hope you guys are doing great. 
I hope you're having a great day. And um, I'll be back with you really soon with some really cool reactions. All right. All right. Bye.